Hey guys, I'm in the middle of editing right now and I know since I recorded my Shane and uh, Jeffrey video about this whole fiasco, this whole drama that's been going on that so much more information has come out. So what I will say, I will have to do, oh my god, this this drama is so much and I this this type of stuff drains the crap out of me. This is why I don't record these types of videos. But I am very curious about this particular incident because I already covered it in 2019 with James and Tati and, and Jeffrey and now Shane is involved so I'm like, oh my god. So I will be doing another video on Tati Westbrooks. This will just be about her and her relationship to James and all that stuff. So drop some questions below. Let me know what you guys would like to see in that video because I am very interested in this one particular incident. Um, and what we can learn from this, what I will say, what I will say guys, is that people want to know who's lying. And I'm going to say that from what I picked up, they are all lying. Um, right now, Jeffrey is incognito. We have not heard from him. I think it's kind of bullshit that his friend Shane is taking the heat for this. And this is supposed to be your best friend, Jeffrey. Like, but like I always say, you're only out for yourself, right? Now, what I will say as well is that Tati is definitely trying to cover her tracks because she knows damn well she was involved in the takedown of James Charles and some friend, right? And like I said, guys, with that damn Scorpio moon, she's very manipulative. Was she lying about the whole sexual harassment thing? Absolutely not. I do feel like she has been sexually harassed, but she used that emotion to act out the fact that she's so hurt about being upset about James. No, Tati, you're upset because you got caught. You're upset because you know damn well you were out for yourself and to take your best friend down, someone that you mentored and you cared about. You turned on very quickly because he wouldn't do what you wanted him to do. Now, I do feel like, guys, James could have handled it a lot better because Tati has been very helpful towards him, but like I said, she has this very entitled energy about her. I don't like Tati's energy. I think she's very manipulative, and I will say that till I'm purple in the face. You know, I think they're all lying in this situation, despite, uh, I don't think James is. I think James owned everything that he was guilty of, and we just have to leave it at that, right? And I don't think that he's a predator. I picked that up from his video when I told you guys that. I don't think he's preyed on straight guys. I think they knew what they were getting into. There was consent, and they just used that to, because let's be honest, James is famous. They're gonna they're gonna run with that. Oh yeah, he 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 was a predator on me. They're gonna go with that bandwagon, especially if they're getting paid. Now a lot of these drama channels all of a sudden are coming out and saying, "Well, I have receipts. I have receipts," because they're getting paid to say this stuff. They're getting paid. So just be careful what drama channels you guys follow. I've been picking up. All of a sudden, they're gonna come out and say, "Oh well, I have facts on Jeffrey. I have facts on." He's playing all of you guys. He's Jeffrey is playing everyone. Okay, this is what Jeffrey does. He plays everyone. You all are just a pawn in his little chess game, right? And Jeffrey is manipulating Shane. I have always said that he likes to control everybody in his life, and he doesn't really have friends. He has people that work for him and that's really all he's really good at is having if he does have close friends like I said again their business partners or their family members if that if they even a lot of his family members don't like him so I drop down below what you guys would like to see in the next video that I will do on Tati this will probably be a part three because this shit is getting crazy just know guys that they are all lying I'll say before I go guys and we can get into the reading Shane very mature of you to um, go on live and be like, liar, liar, yelling at the camera and saying that Tati's f tears were fake because you're trying to get it off the fact that you're a predator and you're doing nasty shit or were. You need to own your shit. And guys, when I was pulling on him that the video that you're about to see, his energy was good at that moment. It wasn't that good, but it was okay. And now he's getting immature again. And Rylan is also trying to cover up for him. So anyway, I don't want to keep ranting in this video, this little short intro. But please know that they're all lying. They're all a pawn in Jeffrey's game, as you guys can see. You guys will see. And... Yeah, don't really feel like right now Jeffrey's going to speak out just yet, but when he does, it's going to be crazy. Um, but yeah, so let's get into the reading. I hope you guys like it. Bye. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Sade's Tarot Tea.
so guys we are here doing another controversial video on shane and jeffrey um personally i've decided to combine these two readings into one um shane and jeffrey again just because they are in the same boat as in regards to the mess that they've um cause in regards to james charles and if you guys remember i did a video way back on james charles proving innocent um not on everything he he the main thing i picked up was his ego which i did check him on spiritually i was like okay james we need to check the ego so it seems like he's done that i will be doing an updated reading on james charles because i'm very curious as to what is going on with his energy so just bear with me guys i want to do youtuber youtubers for a good minute so that's who the next readings will be about are youtubers so yeah if you have any youtubers that you guys would like me to do comment below let me know what you guys would like to see from me in regards to youtubers only so guys i want to um i got a list of questions um chloe has helped me compile a list of questions on what is going on currently with jeffrey and shane um i've been following the both of them for some time now more so shane for a minute um i was following him even when he was doing blackface and you know it's so crazy at the time i didn't think anything of it like which is so you like how offensive it was like obviously i knew blackface was wrong but i was like it didn't dawn on me that this could be very offensive you know um which is bad on my part like i guess i was young and stupid but this was back when i was really young and i was just like oh it's funny you know like we can tend to act like that sometimes as black people but as I got older, I realized, yo, like, that was very disrespectful. He was, doing he was doing blackface. So, like, obviously, I knew that when I was younger, but I didn't really think anything of it, you know? I'm not gonna lie. And there have been some African Americans that have come out and said, like, I supported Shane back then, and I didn't really think anything of it. Um, so, that really goes to show the how much we've been... <sighs> desensitize you know guys so we're gonna go ahead and look right now before i get into the questions this is gonna be a uh, split video so i will have timestamps below if you guys want to either check out shane's video we're gonna split this in two or jeffrey's video okay so this is gonna get long so get your snacks i hope you guys enjoy this video even though it's gonna be very controversial and hard to talk about but before i get started just want to let you guys know i'm available for personal readings so please email me at shadestarot at yahoo.com and if you don't mind if you would like to stay here for a while please subscribe to my channel hit that big subscribe button below you with the red the red button you know so while you're at it why don't you hit that bell notification squad raise up what up y'all <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started reading on i'm gonna start with shane just because shane's energy is a lot lighter to me um like shane is a cancer i've talked about how he has his moments where he could be very dark so we're gonna go ahead and get into his very dark past and let me just say right now guys i'm gonna put a disclaimer the things i'm not condoning shane's behavior at all i was doing some research and not saying that it, this is in any way is going to sway my reading on him or the fact that i used to follow him when i was younger um i still watch his videos but um i have been a fan of shane for some time now and i'm owning that you guys always know i'm honest on my channel but of course like i knew like i said i want to say again like i knew of course blackface was wrong but it's just crazy how my young mind didn't process how offensive that could be like that's that's just crazy that i wasn't upset about that like <laughs> like i don't know why so we're gonna go ahead and look at shane's energy right now see where he's currently at and if you guys don't know shane dawson is being he's under a lot of hot water right now because old videos have surfaced about shane talking about um children under age you know speaking nasty things about children um they have it on camera they have now this stuff i did not know about guys i did not know that he was being disgusting like this um i remember listening to his podcast and i was like he would sometimes mention things like this and i was like what the fuck is he talking about and i remember like feeling very uncomfortable but the blackface i i don't know why i was like not checking for him on that that was my bad um i don't know what was wrong with me but of course now i i feel like it's highly obviously like i'm older now so i feel like it's highly offensive um but yeah so and so anyway these videos have resurfaced about him and the podcast and him 
being nasty against young girls and you know so we're gonna get into Shane's energy right now and then him doing blackface and and you know calling out you know um every race you can imagine and he came for everybody like doja cat was doing he came for everyone <laughs> all right guys so i have pull cards on shane dawson's energy and where he currently stands um so we're gonna go ahead and also pull up shane dawson's chart we're gonna revisit his birth chart because i need to get more into his energy so we're gonna do that so shane dawson is a cancer sun his moon is in libra his mercury is in cancer his venus is in gemini his mars is in aries and if you guys remember i was talking about in my shane dawson video is that he does and says a lot of things that are just kind of like not kind of they're just he loves to do things for shock value he likes to be dramatic he likes to fuck people up in the head i've already said that because like i said he I talked about in his video that he was fucked up in the head when he was young and I'm not trying to be mean when I say that guys but Shane Dawson was molested when he was younger so I feel like there was um, his cards coming out right now are very interesting we're gonna go ahead and look at his cards before I keep talking but I want to show you guys his cards um, so the first card I got was emotional withdrawal in the reverse we're looking at where Shane is currently at right now. So the first card I'm going to focus on is the emotional withdrawal card. So I pick up that Shane used to put a lot of his crazy ass shit on people. And this is not okay. I feel like Shane has, he should have been in therapy like months or years ago, you know, to help him with these problems that he has. And I feel like the way he was dealing with his issues, the way he was dealing with people in his life was very hurtful. He was moving very hurtful. He was just lashing out and putting his issues on other people. And because of that, he caused a lot of emotional issues with people. And just kind of the, like even with family members I'm seeing and uh, guys in no way am I excusing his behavior but I just want to see where Shane's energy is at currently because I just want to understand like what is going on in his mind right now. So yeah he's taking some time. Uh, he got my emotional withdrawal card in the reverse so that to me is taking time to reflect, taking time to think back on the past and to acknowledge the things that he did wrong which he did come out with that apology video we're gonna look at if that was genuine um but i'm seeing that there is some you know remorse and there is a lot of uh realizing that he wasn't dealing with a lot of his trauma which is why i bring up that he was in fact molested when he was younger so he has been open open about that he's talked about that in the past so i'm seeing that this point in his life it still has been creeping up for him and it's like it follows him he can't get away from his past and he can't get away from putting his past onto other people so that's the first thing i'm picking up on with the emotional withdrawal card um also feel like this is talking about how he's hiding he's going into hermit mode he's not wanting to besides when he addressed it he's not wanting to talk about it anymore he feels like the video was needed i possibly we could see him even erase the video take down the video in the long run because he wants to as much as possible keep deleting his past so he did talk about that in his apology video where he's like i want i, I kept running from my past you know and because of that i am seeing my shadow cart in the reverse saying that spirit was moving towards him and saying okay we're going to transform you we're going to bring up old things we're going to hold you accountable you need to still learn because you're still running from your past you're still doing the same shit Shane so we have to bring these old toxic shit that all these old toxic videos this you know we got to bring these um these old bad habits that you had and we got to resurface them shake your world up and make you change like so i i truly feel like guys uh spirit is moving shane into a more transitional period in his life where he will grow up more and he will be better and we will start to see better content from him and he's really taking this in and learning from his situation he's always had to learn from his situation um so with that emotional withdrawal card coming in and that shadow side he's being forced right now to deal with his shadow side which is the very nasty dark side of shane that i was talking about in my past video well we're seeing this starting to play out in the media with him 
again. So this this dark side of himself, guys, I hate to say it like this, but it's he can be very pervy like this. Like he is a perv, you know, he has this very sick side to him where he wants to get revenge on what was done to him so he wants to make people suffer or wanted to make people suffer for the shit that he went through when he was younger and that's why he's putting it on to other young people because it's a form of control and power which was i'm seeing within my cards guys i'm seeing that was taken from him when he was when he was young when he was little so and even as he got older his same shit him being i'm talking about when he was you know um, harassed guys okay not the blackface like I'm talking about when he was harassed and why he's starting to pray or was excuse me why he was preying on young girls because there's no justification for what he was doing but if we look deeper it's a lot of trauma that Shane is dealing with and just was not dealing with it in the right way so spirit is forcing him to move and deal with it in the right way because they're like you need to stop with this disgusting these disgusting jokes it's not funny you need to own up to what you did and hold yourself accountable which is what we're starting to see shane do because he would address it but he would never like and he did mention that in his video but he would never hold himself accountable um so yeah so with that being said we have the moving on card okay guys so this is talking about how Shane wants to leave this in his past. He wants to forget about it. He wants to f officially, officially move on and and leave it in the past. He wants to dead his past. He doesn't want to talk about it. So we could see furthermore him not talk about it or address it. So um, we're going to see if more things will come out about him. But I am picking up that this is not going to go away. This is going to continue to follow him. And because of that it's going to challenge Shane to still address his darker side because although he is holding himself accountable, he still needs to get, um, I think he is in therapy right now, but it's talking about how he still needs to go deeper and get spiritual help because his, his spiritual soul is tainted. Okay. So with that being said, the temptation card in the reverse is talking about how he's putting down a lot of things that he was once tempted by and moving on from his, now this can mean guys that He's trying to acknowledge his dark past, okay, which he is, but I mean on a deeper level, which is which is the temptation to be toxic, the temptation to get around toxic people and to excuse his behavior, excuse the behavior of other people. So it's talking about how he will move more into deading his past and he will shed his skin and and outgrow what he once knew and outgrow the people he once was around so we could see shane in the long run start shedding his layers um we're gonna look into his relationship with jeffrey and want to see if that is still going to be something that stands with him and what's been happening with them behind the scenes i'm really curious um, so also we're moving into the next pattern of his life trapped in fear So Shane's going to move into a period where he is no longer going to be trapped in his own emotions be trapped in his own sorrow and his own victim mentality Okay, because Shane does play victim a lot I don't know if I said that in my past video, but because he is a cancer and he's sometimes channeling that cancer in a dark energy in a dark way when cancers are not evolved they can play victim they can manipulate to show people that they're not the bad guy when they are and i am seeing that shane it was not honest he was he was the bad guy he was moving behind the scenes as someone that wasn't innocent which you know we can kind of see that you know we can kind of see that guys um but if you're new to shane's channel if you didn't know this about him well spirit is saying okay you do these temp temp you are tempted by these dark things you're tempted by people that are not good for you people that are toxic you guys know i talk about that a lot here on my channel but you're tempted by a lot of bad situations that you know you should not be in and you hurt people and you do things and you move and i've already spoken about that with shane it's coming out that you already move and do these hurtful things that people will we're gonna turn we're gonna flip the script and make you realize that you can't keep doing these things and this goes with how he was talking about different cultures you know doing blackface making fun of asians making fun of hispanics you know making fun of just anyone you can imagine you know the the gay community um and everyone in the gay community because he hated himself you know and he does talk about that but he really did not like himself and he has to learn to find his own light which i did talk about 
and this is him removing the sh the the um energy that he once felt moving on and moving past this victim mentality guys like shane is really going to need to shed this victim mentality and find his strength and he still has a lot of work to go um sorry he, has, he still has a lot of work to do in regards to shedding this because it's something that he's so used to and it's still tempting to him to revert back to this person um so yeah that's currently where shane's at he's really trying to keep hope and you know try to like be positive for once in his life and try to say okay things are going to work out maybe this is going to work out you know maybe i'm not screwed you know so we're going to see if shane can be redeemed you know we're going to see that and i don't like this cancel culture guys you know how i feel about it i personally i'm not putting my opinion into this but i feel like we shouldn't hold these celebrities or these youtubers up to these influencers instagrammers tiktokers um you know youtubers up to a certain standards because we're all human and that is not right that we idolize these people and put them on this pedestal even with tarot readers you know guys so just remember that they're human like us and they could have some fucked up things going on in their past that we don't even know about and unfortunately for shane but un but fortunately for him because this is going to help him be a better person he is the, his trans his transformation is being played out for everyone to see it so he has to go through this he has to because change is needing to happen with him um okay so let's go ahead and look into shane i want to see i have some questions here thanks to chloe she gave me questions um let's go ahead and pull on shane and then we'll do jeffrey okay so is shane racist so everybody wants to know is shane actually really racist okay guys so i pulled on the first question is shane dawson racist so i got an interesting answer and this is giving me a lot of backstory behind because tarot guys doesn't just say a yes or no okay the way tarot cards uh the way tarot cards are set up the way that what their meaning is is that tarot cards what i like about them is that and being an empath and reading the cards is that they give a deeper reason for why someone is the way they are so my cards are not just saying yes he is or no he's not my cards are telling me what led to him what led him to act out what led him to do all these hurtful things okay so i'm going to say that shane is not racist because his mother he's very close to his mom and his mom is a very sweet energy like i i she came out as the queen of pentacles okay guys she came out as the queen of pentacles and that's talking about someone that was very supportive uh they didn't always have the best relationship i am very aware of that okay but over time their relationship got very it got well it got better and um so his mother always taught him to love everybody now I'm hearing that his father was a very hateful person. His father was not there in Shane's life. And because of that, you know, his mother um, was cheated on and deceived a lot. And I don't see the Seven of Swords telling me that the mother was deceptive. I actually feel like because the Seven of Swords came out in the father's energy, I'm actually seeing that the father was very deceptive, um, was disgusting, preyed on Shane. Um, now, I, I hope that Shane, I think Shane did a video with him. But anyway, I'm picking up that the father was very deceptive, would cheat on his mom. Um, was I'm picking up, guys, that the dad was racist. The dad was very, very racist. And him and his shane's mom and shane's dad were not compatible they were not compatible at all they had different beliefs they had different morals i'm getting a very sweet energy from shane's mother and she's very actually i want to see i feel like shane's mom is protective over shane but when shane's in the wrong she's very upset like she's like why did you do those stuff you should have known better shane like i see her speaking to him very gently but the reason I'm feeling like Shane and his mom had such a bad relationship in the beginning is because Shane's mother was lied to a lot by the father and was like, no, I didn't do that. I didn't hurt. I didn't touch him. I didn't do all that stuff. He's disgusting. He's the one that's nasty. And 
because of that Shane grew angry towards his mom because sometimes the mother didn't know if she could believe Shane or not um, because she was being heavily manipulated by the father and I'm picking up that the father was very abusive and disgusting okay guys I keep getting this nasty energy from the father and I feel like Shane's father put a lot of his beliefs onto Shane so at Shane's core he's actually really good he's a good person but he was heavily influenced by his dad's anger and his dad's disgusting energy and his dad's uh, pedophile energy, okay? I don't know if we could say that on the channel, so <laughs> yeah, hopefully I can say that on this cha on my channel, but yeah, disgusting energy from the dad and um, that really carried on to Shane's energy. Shane being a cancer absorbed a lot of his dad's disgusting traits and thought that was normal right and because of that i'm seeing that he put a lot of his anger out on people especially um women especially people of color because the dad was very racist and the dad i'm picking up guys not to excuse shane's behavior okay guys please don't take it like this but the cards are telling me a deeper meaning as to why shane does the things he why he did the things he does like why he did the things he did and why he is the way he is and how he is trying to grow out of that because it was it was really um instilled in him to be that way but his, but his mother i'm seeing guys was not she does not believe in that she's very religious i'm picking up not to the point where she's judgmental but like she's trying to be there for her son but she's trying to help him to understand you know shane this is why you're in the wrong you know what i mean like I wouldn't be surprised if Shane like talked to his mom about it before he made the video and she's like Shane I think you do need to make a video because Shane was not going to make a video he was not I feel like his mother and Rylan suggested it you know and they I feel like I see them talking and like his mother visiting him to make sure he's okay and like I feel like they had like a group meeting like a family meeting and they talked about it and they decided what they were going to do and people on Shane's team just like I don't know if Shane has a team but I heard team so I don't know if that's because I don't know if I'm picking up on his family being his team or he also has an additional team besides his family um, around him. Okay, guys. So they discussed this video and they're like, you need to help them understand. They're not going to, everyone's not going to accept your apology. I feel like I hear his mom a lot telling him, Shane, She's like Shane, you did a lot of hurtful things. Like you can't expect them to accept your apology. You know, his mom is very gentle, but she's, she's like, you know, as we saw in the video, like. Some people are confused as to what kind of mother she is because when he was asking to twerk, like, his mother has, like, a really weird personality and quirky personality, too. So, she's learning herself that how she condoned her son acting that way. He normalized it, guys. And she desperately wanted a relationship with her son. So, some of the things, I'm not agreeing with her, but she did condone. Um, but him being racist, no. She did not. Him acting racist. Let me ask. Let me say that. Him acting racist no she did not condone that and she does not condone that and she's helping to him to understand because i'm seeing a block guys he did he really did not get that he was being racist like he really did not understand that you don't say this shit this is the shit you don't do right guys so i'm gonna say my cards are telling he intentionally he's not but he was acting as he was acting like his father which his father is coming out as the king of cups guys just so you can see okay guys that's his dad and his dad is very manipulative, very disgusting energy, very manipulative. And I'm seeing because of that, Shane was very hurt and traumatized and took a lot of his trauma out on his brother and his family and other people around him. And I did talk about that in Shane's video, how he could be very hurtful, right? Um, so yeah, guys, I don't want to say too much on that question, but is Shane at his core racist? No, okay? Um, believe what you want to believe because of his past believe it what you want to believe but the cards are telling me it was energy that was not of it's it was energy that wasn't his it was his father's beliefs his father would say really racist things around him would act very disgusting was just very fucked up okay guys we be, we become a product of our parents if we're not careful and that's what i'm seeing shane was becoming like his dad so yeah okay guys so the next question chloe asked me for you guys is does shane really care about making videos anymore or is he in it for the money 
So I'm picking up with the Four of Wands, guys. He really does enjoy making videos. He enjoys making content. He he's always loved YouTube and making film, making being creative. I've said this that Shane's very creative, and that's just his outlet. And it was his outlet besides his crazy jokes. It was his outlet for coping. Okay, like his we all have something that we turn to to cope. And for Shane, it was making videos. It was being creative. It took him out of his head, and it allowed him to be creative and to feel safe right because cancers will try to feel safe and make their own safety if they don't have it in their home environment but I'm also seeing with the nine of pentacles in the reverse he did not expect to for his channel to go anywhere and because of that when he did blow up and he did become because I'm seeing he had fame when he was really young too and when his fame did blow up he was making a lot of money more than he he's making now but he was making a lot of money back then he had a line with hot topic he was doing the damn thing right was it good no it was not good but because of his um him his fame exploding he became very codependent on the money so i'm saying he enjoys making his content he enjoys making videos for you guys and for anyone that watches and understands his content but he's realizing that he's he compromised a lot of himself to earn money so at first it was kind of you know him just really doing it because he loved it and then it kind of started to become tainted and turn into something he's not proud of he became a person i'm picking up from his energy guys he became a person he's not proud of and it's a lot of him having to backtrack and become a better shame so we're gonna see if he's gonna be better I am to answer the question for that I am seeing he does like he genuinely likes to create but there is some codependency because it is his livelihood and he doesn't know what else he would do if he wasn't doing what he's doing now okay he doesn't have a backup plan is what I'm saying did Shane try to blackmail James James Charles um and if so why okay so I'm gonna answer those two first so I am picking up that not to you know get shane in trouble but but to get him in trouble because <laughs> we gotta own we got i gotta be honest guys i'm gonna say yes shane was trying to blackmail james because i said in my james charles video that james was i'm getting a lot of money cards out here and james was at the pivot of his career he was making a ton of money he had a ton of exposure and he still does he's still being successful but he was making a lot of success and because of that i'm seeing that jeffrey kept his eye on james and was becoming very upset about his success i'm seeing someone spying on james and i'm picking up that it was jeffrey jeffrey was really upset that james was becoming too big for his britches kind of thing and i'm picking up on a lot of jealousy from uh from uh from jeffrey Shane, on the other hand, was brought into it because Jeffrey, I'm picking up, was like, okay, um, I'm picking up on a lot of conspiring. So um, Jeffrey and Shane teamed up to make a better palette than Jeffrey. I mean, Jeffrey and Shane teamed up to make the conspiracy palette to outshine James. And on top of that, Jeffrey was you know feeling very upset with james success which i've already talked about before in james video and was feeling very threatened by james so because of that i'm seeing that he is he got uh shane on his side and was really trying to take i'm seeing someone being taken down okay guys because i'm getting my king of pentacles in the reverse which i'm seeing as um james okay and page of pentacles in the reverse stopping opportunities which this could also be well actually to this could be jeffrey and i could see this as james because james is younger than jeffrey and things came very easy to james and that's one of the things that jeffrey is very jealous of with james is that you know james i've said in james video that he knows how to make the right connections he knows how to network because of his virgo moon and he knows how to talk to people and get people to love him he's very likable he's very very good at being commercial uh commercialized i guess i'm trying to say guys he's very good at selling himself right but because of that i'm seeing shane and jeffrey did did conspire against um uh, against him because 
Jeffrey had it out for James the minute he struck gold in the industry. And he got Shane on his side because at first I'm picking up that Shane didn't understand why Jeffrey was so threatened by him. Like he's like, he's, he's, he's a fetus. Like he's so young. Like, what do you like? What? And I feel like Jeffrey twisted a lot of things. Some of it may be true, but Jeffrey twisted a lot of things and made James the villain in a lot of the issues. And Jeffrey and James, James genuinely does look up to Jeffrey, but James always had a very sick intuition, like sickening intuition. Like whenever he would think about being friends with Je Jeffrey, his stomach would turn. Like he was like, maybe I shouldn't, maybe I shouldn't go there. Well, he should have listened to his intuition because I'm seeing from the jump, Jeffrey wanted to take James down. Okay, so I'm seeing a dethroning happen because Jeffrey is feeling like the OG and like no one's paying attention to him. And if Je if James, I'm sorry, if Jeffrey has a, a, a Leo rising, we know there's an issue there or Capricorn rising. There, I keep getting a lot of threatened energy from Jeffrey. So I'm going to say yes because I do feel like James and Jeffrey were kind of like at each other's throats because of Jeffrey. I genuinely feel like James wanted to be friends with him even though there was a lot he didn't agree and he's always been very upfront um, with uh, Jeffrey about how he's felt about him and there would be certain things that I'm picking up that James would bring to Jeffrey's attention that would rub him the wrong way because I've said this before but James is very blunt and he will tell you to your face how he feels. Has he always been that way? Probably not but he has this very blunt personality. And Jeffrey doesn't like being called out on his shit. And if you call Jeffrey out on his shit, he gets mad. He gets very vengeful. So I'm seeing because of that, he already had it out for him. On top of James reaching a point in his career where he was doing very well. And for Jeffrey, it was not like that. Jeffrey had to very, very much struggle. And he's like, I don't understand what this gay boy, this is Jeffrey's thoughts, not mine. He's like, I don't understand what this gay boy has on me. You know, and he's feeling very, very threatened. So he got Shane and him to conspire. Hence why it's probably called conspiracy. Um, Low-key conspire. And then on top of that, Tati had a few complaints about James. Um, so he spun that and used it to get Shane officially on his side. And that's how they started to create that palette. So yeah, I'm going to say yes, there was some blackmailing on Shane's end. But I would say it was really orchestrated by Jeffrey. And the reason Shane got on board for it eventually, not but not right away, it took some convincing I'm picking up on Jeffrey's end, but in some like manipulating on Jeffrey's end for him to see like this is why I'm mad at him, even though it wasn't legit, you know. Um, he has allowed his opinion on James, but I don't think that he should have went this far because I'm getting a lot of um, Jeffrey's energy, guys. And I'm seeing this as the two of pentacles with... Um, Jeffrey and Shane collaborating together to cons like spire and to make an, a palette as well. I'm also picking up that Shane at first was not on board like I said with judgment in the reverse. He was not on board but it took some convincing and then he eventually got on board. So um, with the palette I will say yes and kind of calling Jeff uh, sorry James out on his bullshit. And also because he wanted, Shane wanted to be there for Jeffrey. Like, he really wanted Jeffrey to like him. He didn't want to get on Jeffrey's bad side. Okay, and he wanted to make more money. <laughs> then the other question was, was it to please Jeffrey? Absolutely, yes. He wanted to, he wanted, absolutely, he wanted to get on Jeffrey's good side. Yes, he did. And he, and he's scared of Jeffrey. A lot of people are scared of Jeffrey. Um, okay, so the next question is, is Shane a pedophile? Okay, guys, so I got to be careful with this one. I'm going to say allegedly, okay, because I don't want to get in trouble or... Um, I am picking up that Shane has had some very disturbing thoughts about younger girls. Um, and it's more so a way of controlling them because there was a loss of power taken from him when he was younger. So it's not about sex for him. It's more so about control and getting them to do what he wants, which is why when you see the videos, he's like, twerk, you know, I said twerk and he's being very aggressive. Well, a lot of it is to see how far he could push it to gaining control. So I'm picking up, guys. Um, I'm going to say yes, he is. I feel it in the pit of my stomach that he, in the past, was even more so before he met Rylan. 
Um, yeah, I'm going to say yes, but it's, it wasn't about sex. It never really is, guys. It's about power for him and getting him, getting them to do what he wants. I'm not saying that he's ever done anything with, with a younger aged girl. Um, he's always dated girls around his age. He's barely dated, but he's always dated girls around his age. Um, such as Lisa and maybe I Justine. Did he date her? But I'm picking up, he's never done anything sexual. But has he tried to have power over young girls? Absolutely. Has he been disgusting towards young girls? Absolutely. With his words. I'm seeing an abuse of power. And what's telling me that, guys, is the Ace of Swords, which talks about that. Using communication to overpower or overthrow someone. But he's always kept his distance with the Three of Wands, um, which talks about distance. He's never acted on it, but he thinks about it. He's thought about it as well you know doing things to them and being violent i'm gonna say even being violent with them um night allegedly knight of cups in the reverse not seeing any romantic like romantic romantic feelings towards them when you see the ace of swords and the knight of cups together guys in the reverse that's talking about more so wanting power to control them but not having any romantic feelings towards them not wanting it to go anywhere um and what i pay attention to guys too is the hierophant like him being on his throne like i'm higher than you i'm better than you um i'm 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 a figure to look to like people worshiping him he likes war being worshipped there was that darker side of him that's like what i talked about earlier his darker side is i like to be worshipped okay um, so there was a, a power, a power play. Okay, that's what I'm picking up on. So I'm going to say yes, allegedly he is. Um, he is, but it wasn't like, um, like, it's still disgusting. It's not a sexual thing for him. It's a power play for him. Especially because he was more so really acting on this when he was coming up in his career. It was really bad. And then at the bottom of the deck too, Knight of um, Cups in the River saying that he doesn't really want anything with them. He would treat a lot of these girls like they were disposable. Like, oh, okay, I'm done with you. Like, you did what I want. And not in a sexual way. It was more so in a, like, well, you know, he would see how far he could push it. But he never, like, acted on it, if that makes sense, guys. And I know there was a, a whole thing on him and Willow, what he did with the poster with Willow. Yeah. <laughs> Power play. So the next question that I was asked was... Does Shane truly feel guilty for what he's done? Okay, so I used my oracle cards and I used two cards to pull on this from my tarot deck. Um, I'm going to say yes and no. So I feel like yes, he feels guilty because, you know, or feel bad because he's hurt people in the long run. And he, he tries to operate from, even though he could be very negative and pessimistic he always wants to make people laugh like i'm seeing the light card so he thought like truly he was being funny he was being a comedian he was like lightening people's lives because he spent a lot of his life in depression and suffering in silence he suffered in silence i'm seeing this in the upright for shane but um he didn't want to cause anybody any problems or pain um he always thought he was seriously guys genuinely he i would say if he you know he always thought he was being funny but he was really abusing his power okay he wasn't noticing he was being very stubborn which he did talk about he was being very stubborn when people would try to tell him hey you're being a dick like you're being mean he'd be like get over it no i'm not like i'm trying to be funny i'm trying to be like a light in people's lives like that's what i'm hearing from shane like he truly thought he was being of service to people he thought he was like being the light of people's lives and helping people so I am going to say now he feels bad. In the past, no, he didn't feel bad because, and he did speak about this in his video, but I am seeing there is some remorse because I'm, gonna, I'm saying yes, he feels bad, but no, because he's happy that it's out and he can move on and the worst has happened. He's like, okay, the worst has happened. My worst fear has happened because I pick up that Shane already saw this coming again. I feel like he already kind of figured this was going to resurface again and he was really going to have to deal with it. So I'm seeing he's actually kind of grateful at the same time that a lot of this shit is coming up because he does want to be held accountable, which is really good. Um, and he does realize he was fucked up in the head. And I'm seeing him actually go to more therapy and really get help because he does have a problem. He's, he's, he's coming to terms with the fact that he does have this bad problem and that he does need to acknowledge the darker side of himself and stop running from it. 
and actually own what he does or what he, and what he did right so because of that it's allowing him to have new beginnings he's taking this as a purge and he's grateful for the fact that people are actually really holding him accountable and he does feel bad but also at the same got time guys he's grateful for it because he's like yes i want to be held accountable i've been getting away for i've been getting away with this shit for a long time and it's time that i own up to it because he also thinks that that's why a lot of bad shit happens to him it's his karma he believes heavily in karma and why he gets followed by spirits and stuff like that because his not only i feel like it's not all the time spirits it's his <laughs> i feel like it's i feel like it's energy manifesting into spirit spirits maybe it's his dark energy manifesting itself in his house and it's like reminding him like shane like that spirit manifesting it and because his energy is so dark and he's been his energy is so dark it manifests in a negative way in his household okay so he was getting signs guys that something bad was going to happen okay and i think he did say something like that but i'm seeing it in my cards i'm feeling it i'm actually more so feeling it like spirit was warning him you need to you got something coming you got something coming you need to you're gonna need to address your past and i keep saying that guys so he's he's gonna start seeing that the spirits in his house are gonna start clearing up the more he acknowledges his past okay it's really interesting guys he feels like he's haunted i believe that shane is haunted a little bit sometimes but i feel like i feel like his energy energy is very powerful and our traumas our past can manifest into the physical and become our worst nightmare and they can actually i feel personally that we can our energy depending on if it's good or bad it can start manifesting into you know where you are it will follow you and it can manifest into a spirit okay and i and i or a spirit will take that energy on that may already be in the house and start you know messing with him so that's what i feel like has been happening is if Shane ever saw this video, Shane, your past was manifesting actually into a spirit, uh, um, not a spiritual being because it feels darker. So it feels like an entity. His negative energy was manifesting into an entity that was following him to remind him that he needs to own and take accountability for his actions. And I feel like that is what Shane is working through. And what he will start noticing is maybe that wasn't a spirit following me. It was myself haunting me you know my past haunting me because he did get my shadow side card guys which can speak of our shadow side can manifest energetically into a demonic energy if it's negative okay so that's what spirit is telling me it's really interesting because i did see his video on him talking about a demon in his house shane that is not all the way a demon that is mostly i'm picking up an entity that you conjured up from your past that is following you and that's why it goes into every house you're in because you're conjuring up this negativity and you're not acknowledging and holding yourself accountable and letting go of your past okay so it's a lot of trauma guys and a lot of built up shit that he's had and the shit he's done to people it's it's it manifested into a demonic energy um he feels like it's is trying to warn him i do feel like there are spirits that do follow him okay but there's one entity that i'm picking up on i can see him it's like a i could see i think he spoke about a shadow figure that is him okay that is him that is what i'm picking up on but then there's another spirit that he talked about where it's a girl now that's different i feel like that that little girl is attached to his grandmother so yeah that's what i'm picking up guys and it's very interesting i can see her do you see willow or willow's family taking action against shane that is a really good question i'm curious about that too um Hmm. i'm definitely guys i'm not gonna lie i'm definitely okay i was picking up on this okay so i'm not gonna okay guys i'm picking up that will is very mad like will is like what i know jaden's upset and i know jada i feel jada is mad too but will is very mad like i can feel his energy will is a, a libra um, but he's coming out as a fire sign like will wants to take action i am that's a good question i don't know if there's been tabloids about this Jaden has brought it to will's attention he's like did you see this like do you see what this this disgusting pig is doing to my sister um i know that Jaden has already spoke out against shane um 
but I'm seeing Shane. I'm not getting my Justice card, so I'm actually going to see if I pull that card because I'm not seeing... Hey guys, um, I apologize. I realized that I didn't go into details about how Willow feels about the situation because there was just so much energy going on between Will, Jada, Jaden, <laughs> like, and the bigger brother, like, oh my god. But Willow, the way she feels about the situation, she thinks it's disgusting, but she's just like, Ugh. Willow's a Scorpio, so she's like, I'm not going to waste my energy on this. I mean, there's a part of her that's kind of like, oh, wow, Shane Dawson, like, interesting, okay. But, like, a little flattered, I want to say, like, because she's a, <laughs> I don't know why I'm picking up she's kind of flattered, but she's not as disturbed as, like, like, she's, like, a little, like, okay, that's weird, but, like, that doesn't, she's a Scorpio, so it's, like, uh, okay, whatever, moving on. You know what I mean? Like, that's, <laughs> like, Willow is not giving her energy to it. No, I do understand. I think that Willow is queer. Um, sh yeah, I think so, right, guys? Um, but she's not really, like, sweating it like her family is. She's just, like, whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna go make my music and do my thing, you know? So, um... But we'll dive more into her energy when I um, read on them. So, yeah, just wanted to let you guys know because I realized I didn't read on Willow about it. So, yeah. I am picking up that Will is very upset. Um, I do feel like Will is going to reach out because here's the thing about Will. Um, I haven't done a reading on the Smith family yet, but I want to. Will is very easy to talk to. Will is very easy to talk to. He's very understanding. Not that he is going to be like oh yeah what you did was fine no i'm seeing will wanting to sit down and, and talk to shane like what is going on with you because uh because will is a libra so will is like before i take action against this guy i want to understand what's going on with him like why why would he do that like he wants to understand why shane did that so we could see will speak out we could see him do a video to Shane on his Instagram. I'm seeing that's a possibility. I don't know if Will did this already. Um, I haven't looked, guys. We could see some a tweet from Jada or Will. We could see Jada bring Shane on the Red Table Doc um, when that when she's recording the the show again. We could see that happen. Um, I'm seeing Shane, I'm seeing Will wants to sit down. He is not happy. He's coming out as the King of Wands and the Ten of Cups in the reverse. Okay, guys, he is not happy at all. He, I'm seeing he wants to reach out because of the Eight of Wands. Now, is the, are they going to take legal action? I'm not seeing that. I'm not feeling that in Will's energy. It's more so like, that's really disturbing. And I'm going to reach out because I want to protect my daughter. He's very protective, of course, you know, he's very protective over his kids, you know, he's a very family-oriented man. So when he saw that, it really made him upset. And then Jada, I'm seeing Jada calm Will down because eventually, I am seeing that that was his first response. Like, I do want to speak to, like, I want to take legal action against him. I am seeing there is a collaboration that is going to happen, okay? I'm not picking up on a legal action taken against him, but that definitely did cross Will's mind. Um, but Jada talked him down a lot because Jada is very calm and, like, she calms Will down a lot because Will can't have a temper. He's a very reasonable guy, level-headed person, but he can have a bit of an ego and, like, you know, <sighs> I'm not seeing the Will... I'm not saying that Will wants to take action against him. I'm not saying, because if the King of Wands is in the upright and the Ten of Cups was in the reverse, I'd be like, yes. <laughs> um, but I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing more so that there is going to be a conversation or maybe Will reached out. Um, maybe Shane will have Will on his channel or something will happen around the family where they're talking to Shane or they'll have a private conversation or someone will get his number and call Shane and say what the hell and Shane will have to apologize. So I'm seeing that will happen for sure. But they'll move past it. I'm seeing them move past it and I really see Shane being uh, very sorry and like say like of course he's gonna be starstruck too but like I'm seeing him like be very sorry. Maybe he'll even go to his house or something but I'm seeing them uh talk because i got the ten of uh sorry i got the two of cups and the two of pentacles so that talks about exchanging or a collaboration that is gonna happen or money so i feel like 
I don't know if Will will ask him for money to make it go away or I don't know if there's some type of contract or maybe a restraining order or something like that. I don't know. But I am picking up on, regardless, I am picking up on a conversation or a collaboration of some sort or them coming together and speaking. So, yeah, and I do see Shane's mother being present um, and Shane's, I, Rylan possibly or, um, yeah, Rylan, I'm seeing the mother be present too when this happens or this could already be happen, or could already happen. I see it very fast communication happening and Jaden did bring it to Will Smith's attention and his mother's attention and his um and Willow's attention do you see Shane bouncing back from this okay to answer that question I do feel like I already kind of answered this um do you see Shane bouncing back from this I do see Shane bouncing back a little bit I don't feel like his channel I do see him losing more subscribers and um no longer you know because you know, we, we had this bad habit, even I admit to this, we would not hold Shane accountable for a lot of the shit he did. So I see him being held accountable and him under a microscope. So I do see new beginnings coming out for Shane, but he will work to do more mature content and we will start to really see a change with him. So because of that, I'm going to say slowly but surely he will bounce back. But let me just double check. Will Shane bounce back from this? So I'm, I'm seeing not right now it's gonna take a minute which i already said yeah his yeah okay i am saying slowly he will like he'll 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 have people that forgives him um but it's not gonna be the same it's not gonna be the same as it once was so i'm seeing money deplete for shane i am seeing him lose more subscribers more followers on twitter more followers he will lose on Instagram um, and YouTube. I still see more com information coming out about Shane and making it not easy to forgive him. Um, yeah, I, I'm gonna say it's. I'm gonna say not entirely, but he will be able to still create content and will do well. But I still see more issues of people forgiving him, and I see him. So I'm gonna say no, not completely redeemable and not completely bounce he won't bounce back completely from this this is really tarnishing his image um i mean a lot of people already kind of knew about this they're like really like it took you guys this long like he's been doing this you know but i am seeing that he is gonna lose a lot because of it yeah he's losing a lot of endorse and he had some opportunities on the table um more so like people wanting to work on movies with him i'm picking up and now they don't and I'm seeing him lose a lot of money, especially with the conspiracy palette. I know that they just released the second launch. I'm seeing that won't do as well as the first launch did. And I'm seeing more issues with the palette. We're going to see more issues of how they've um, manufactured it. So be careful, guys, when you're buying the palette. They're going to try to rush to put it out. And it's not going to be completely, like, up to standard. So I know they already kind of had issues with the palette, but I'm seeing that's still going to happen. So a lot of, uh, what is it? Fallout. I'm seeing a lot of that too. Okay, so the next question, guys, is does Shane really care about his fans? Um, I'm going to say to some extent he does. He cares about what his fans think about him. But not to the point, not to the point where it's like, it's enough to like make him change. He has to want to change on his own. Um, so yeah, I, I'm gonna say he does care, but it depends. It's, it really truly depends on, because again, guys, I've talked about how he's been tainted by depending so much on the money and losing sight of what's truly important. Okay, guys, and I want to pull on what happened with him and Garrett, because I know people are wondering about that. Like, what's going on with him and Garrett? Why isn't he in his videos and stuff? Okay, so I will talk about that, but, um... He did come out as the devil in the reverse, so now he cares. Again, before, he didn't really, like, care about his fans like that. Like, no. He's learning to have a better respect for his fans now, and he's learning to, because everything is going to be stripped from him. Not too much, but I'm seeing a lot is being stripped from him. A lot of respect is being stripped from him. And he's having to appreciate what he has, okay? Because he was taking it for granted, and he has taken it for granted in the past. And he has to realize, you're here because of your fans. And he is realizing that. Okay, guys? So, I'm going to say to some extent, yes, but not entirely. Not the way he should, okay? Do you see Jeffrey speaking up for Shane? Okay, I like that question. Uh, I'm getting mixed messages, guys. I'm picking up that Jeffrey does want to speak up for Shane, but... He doesn't know how to go about it because there's a lot of things that Jeffrey can't condone, such as the him making jokes about underage girls. Um, 
so i feel like right now there is a little bit of distance i do feel like jeffrey has hit i do pick up that jeffrey has reached out to shane and asked if he's okay and what's going on and i feel like they've spoken under i i feel like they've spoken in private i do feel like they've been in contact um because jeffrey knows what it's like to be under fire and stuff he doesn't like i'm not i'm seeing though that there are certain things that jeffrey is not happy with shane about like when there were certain things that shane said in his apology that kind of like rub jeffrey the wrong way i keep picking up on that and he's not happy about it so i'm seeing that he's not quick to run to his aid he's kind of letting him take the backlash and disip and, and i'm seeing jeffrey's like disappearing him disappearing from uh from him you know um as far as like in the public goes i feel like they addressed it in the the message but i keep picking up that jeffrey's upset about certain things that shane's done um, and certain things that he said, okay? Um, not so much the racism, but kind of like the underage thing. He's kind of looking at him sideways like, that was kind of weird, you know? Um, but there's a side of Jeffrey that understands what it's like to be under fire like this. So he does empathize with him, but, and he is making sure he's okay. But I'm seeing Jeffrey's keeping his distance. I don't see right now Jeffrey speaking out. If he does speak out, it will be when he gets back. Because I think he's at his grandmother's. So it will be about three more weeks before we hear Jeffrey speak out or say anything. Um, and it won't be directly towards Shane. I'm picking up that it will be more so centered around James. And kind of like how they didn't conspire against, you know, him, him and Shane. So he'll mention Shane. But I'm not seeing that. Or he'll allude in his stories to like laying off of Shane a little bit. But he's kind of like straddling the fence with it like how much does he come to his aid you know like uh, like in the public eye um but i am seeing that he is trying to make sure he's okay behind the scenes even though there is some him being a little upset i don't feel like this is going to stop them being friends i do see another launch happening uh the conspiracy palette happening but he is kind of worried shane uh jeffrey's worried that they're gonna lose money because of shane so he is a little bit upset at the same time that this is coming up during the launch so he's kind of mad he's mad i'm not gonna lie guys he's kind of mad but i don't see it stopping their friendship but i'll look into it um so the next question i'm asking is will shane and jeffrey remain friends after this i'm gonna say yes they will but they're not gonna be very open with their friendship i'm not seeing I, i'm picking up on more so they're they'll collaborate with the conspiracy palette and that'll be it um i'm not picking up that this is going to influence shane and jeffrey's friendship um but it is kind of going to turn into that thing where it's like more so like a business transaction type of friendship which is what it's turning into anyway but i'm still seeing that they're going to be friends okay um but when we do see them associate it's going to be on a business level so they're going to try to keep it business that's what i'm saying that's what i meant to say i'm sorry guys they're going to in the public yeah my ears ringing okay they're going to, in the public, keep it very business and act like they're not buddy, buddy, buddy um, too much. We will see them getting along, but it's not going to be as lovey-dovey as it was. Um, and, I, and I'm kind of seeing that they are growing distant, that my prediction already is starting to happen, that they're growing distant a little bit. And I see Jeffrey and Shane being friends and kind of talking here and there behind the scenes. Now, Sh Shane is a little upset. But he understands. He's not too mad at Jeffrey. Um, I even feel like, to some extent, Shane doesn't really want Jeffrey to come to his rescue. Could be that, too. Um, but I am seeing them stay friends behind the scenes and being really cool behind the scenes. But we're going to see in the public eye, it's going to be more so them um, having, a, you know, a friendship in front of the camera. Um, now I am picking up on some grudge holding, so there, there is a tower moment coming in their friendship. So I'm gonna say too, they will stay friends, but as of now, I'm picking up guys that this energy could change very fast. Because I have to acknowledge the five of cups and the tower here, which is telling me that there is some problems brewing beneath the surface with them. Uh, some passive aggressive stuff going on. Um, so yeah, so they have to acknowledge that. If they acknowledge that and they communicate and they talk about it, they they will be able to work together and they will be able to stay friends but i'm seeing some animosity brewing so especially on jeffrey's end with with shane so the last question i want to pull on for shane's video his part of the video is 
what's going on with him and Garrett because I'm really curious as to why like what's going on with him and Garrett also there they are having issues too Shane and Jeffrey I'm picking up with me uh, what's her name Morgan his friend Morgan something happened with Morgan and Jeffrey uh, I feel like Morgan, I personally am picking up from when I was tapping the energy, I'm picking up that Jeffrey was kind of being really rude to Morgan. And it's kind of putting Shane in the middle of them both. And, you know, Shane is changing a lot because he is he is changing a lot because of Jeffrey. It's not a good sign. So this is a spirit like knocking him back into reality, you know. I'm asking what is going on with Garrett and Shane because a lot of people are wondering what's going on in their friendship. So I'm picking up that they are having issues. Garrett and Shane, I'm picking up on are no longer friends. They're having, or if they are friends, it's very, very bad. It's rocky because Shane is, he's changing. He's changing in a way that Garrett doesn't even recognize anymore. Like Shane used to be very goofy with Garrett and funny and now he's just like, I don't know it's completely different and I'm seeing that I don't know I'm picking up that Jeffrey was having issues with Garrett too like well he's not adding to your team because Jeffrey's that type of energy that needs people around him that work for him you know he can't really have legit friends if you notice a lot of Jeffrey's friends work for him well Shane is the opposite or was the opposite of that where you know Jeffrey's a person that a lot of his friends are his entourage or they work for him. Um, you know, he doesn't really do well making his own friends that don't work for him. Does he have friends that are not working for him? Yes, he does. But I'm even picking up that those friendships are not even, he's not even really close with them. Um, so the same thing, he was kind of putting that on Garrett. Jeffrey was trying to change a lot in Shane's life. And that's why Shane is changing because... Shane was having issues with Morgan, or he's having issues with Morgan, and he's having issues with Garrett. And Shane's someone that likes to have his friends not be his co-workers. He, let, he needs that. But he, they don't like how Shane, Jeffrey's changing Shane. So I'm seeing that he's afraid to be more open and out in the open with Garrett because it doesn't go for his image. So Shane has been dealing with that a lot behind the scenes. So I'm seeing that they're not really friends. I'm, I'm seeing that it's, it, yeah, they're not really friends. They're having a really hard time. They're taking a break from their friendship because Jeffrey was bringing to his attention. He's like, what are they doing for you? Like, besides being annoying, <laughs> like Jeffrey's that person. He will, he's such a Scorpio in that way where he will like inch himself in every aspect of your life and tell you what you're doing wrong with his Capricorn moon. Like, this person doesn't work for you. Why, they're in, why are they in your life? They're not adding to your life. They're not benefiting you. Because Jeffrey uses people in his life. He does. And so I'm seeing that Shane was the opposite. He liked having people around him. He liked taking care of people. So I'm picking up that Jeffrey made it seem like Garrett was using him. I'm not seeing from Garrett's energy. I'm not picking up that Garrett was using him. Did he benefit from Shane's friendship? Absolutely. But that was not his intent. And I'm picking up that there could have been a fight with them. Yeah, they're not friends anymore. I feel like one of them is waiting for the other one to reach out. And I don't, guys, all of my cards are saying, my oracle cards are telling me that they're not friends. If Garrett does like a picture of Shane or anything, it could be shady. Or if Garrett, which I did see that happen, but it didn't really give anything away to my, in my opinion. But Garrett may like a few things. I don't know if Garrett's still following Shane. I haven't looked. He may be just save face or to make things look okay. Um, because Garrett doesn't like confrontation in the open like that. He's very private. So yeah, I'm seeing a lot of Shane's friends are changing because or were changing because of Jeffrey. Because Jeffrey is about image too. So yeah, guys. And Morgan is having a hard time with Shane too. Yeah. More so with Jeffrey though. More so with Jeffrey. Shane is unwilling to see that Jeffrey is toxic. So Je so Shane, you need to see Jeffrey's not good. Okay guys, so now we are moving into Jeffrey Star's uh, part of the video. Um, some of these questions that Chloe asked me I've already answered in Shane's video. So this one may not be that long. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and look at where G uh, Jeffrey's energy is currently because I'm really curious on that and then we'll move into the questions. So where is Jeffrey's energy currently? 
Okay guys, so I have pulled on where is Jeffrey's energy currently. I'm not getting good energy. I feel like Jeffrey is not doing well. Um, I feel like there's a shakeup in his family. Um, I'm picking up that his mother is not okay or his grandmother. I know he just went to go visit his grandmother and she just had a birthday, I believe where he went to go visit her for something but i'm picking up that there's there's a, a shake up in his family um he got my fertility card in the reverse which is talking about um his mother i pick up on him a mother figure uh this could also mean that he's he's not nurturing himself properly he's not growing properly it could be that such as like emotionally and um a foundation is crumbling so because of this i am feeling like you know, he is losing a lot of followers because of what's been going on with James and the whole Tati situation that is still coming back to haunt him, as it should, because he did seek to get backlash and revenge for towards James. So that is his karma. Um, he doesn't know exactly how to stand his ground in the situation. He doesn't know how to come at the situation because a lot of the bullshit that he did to people is coming back and biting him in the ass but i'm also feeling like there is a big shake up in his family i feel like something's going on with that um i'm picking up on that and uh it feels very heavy around him so that could be it as well and i'm also picking up that of course we know he is losing a lot of followers right now and um his company stock i'm hearing his stocks and his company are declining i hope i'm saying that right guys um he's losing a lot of money um as well and a lot of subscribers which is money um, nowadays on YouTube and he's not exactly sure how to fix the situation he doesn't know which is why he's in he's kind of going into hiding right now which is rare for Jeffrey to do that so we know it's that serious he's hiding solitude in the upright Jeffrey is hiding right now yes he's trying to remain positive that things will get better but he's having a really hard time I also feel like he is around his family. Yeah, he's trying to cover his bases. He He's trying to cover his bases because I got partnerships and alliances in the upright. So I do think that people are reaching out to Jeffrey that do care about him. They are reaching out to him. I feel like he is trying to make amends or he will try to make amends because he is going to notice that this is more so I feel like a prediction. So we could see jeffrey apologized to james in a video he will probably i'm picking up that jeffrey's debating on making a video towards james like like shane did um and for his past as well so um we could see another video coming out on the matter more so touching on him uh james and him trying to cover his tracks and say that he was not trying to um blackmail or you know speak out against uh uh, James and what he did was wrong and that he cares about Tati so we could see a video come out guys I'm, I don't know if Jeffrey is going to officially do this yet I'm picking up it's in his energy to do it he may do it while he's out of um, out of the states so I don't know where he's at right now but I do feel like he's not here uh, as in like he's visiting and I know he posted a he did post something about that but he didn't say where he was but I am picking up he's not in California um yeah, he's trying to seclude himself from the drama, but he's going to... I feel like he may try to address it when he comes back. I do feel like that's in his energy still. But as far as it being about Shane, I'm not... I don't feel... I feel like he's going to try to touch on it more about James. And that Shane didn't have anything to do with it. He could defend him in that way. But that's all he'll say, probably. He's 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 um, teeter-tottering on it. Okay, so these are the questions she asked me. Some of these I answered already, especially in Jeffrey's videos. Um, she asked me is, uh, Chloe, she asked me, is he really racist? So in my video, I talked about that Jeffrey does not feel like he's racist. He feels like, um, that was his past. He was ignorant, yet he considers himself ignorant for sure. But at his core, he doesn't feel like he hates people. He, he doesn't feel like, um, that he's racist. And I pick up he is. <laughs> so... Is he attempting to blackmail James Charles? I do feel like that was his intent, absolutely, because, and she asked me why, if he is. I do feel like he has, and he's been trying to blackmail a lot of people, obviously we know for a while, but especially James because he's jealous of him, and he's jealous of how fast, I'm picking up from his energy, he's jealous of how fast um, 
J uh, James' road to fame. Like, how fast and how easy it was. Because for Jeffrey, it was really hard. Like, he struggled a lot. And he did not come from a good family. And he looked around James and saw a supportive family. Um, not to be mean, but Jeffrey is jealous of James because James has all of the things Jeffrey wants. Honestly. And truly. So he's envious of him and how easy it was for James to have success because it took Je it took Jeffrey a long time, very long time. She also asked me, did he plan to take down James from the start with Tati? Like, did he try to convince Tati to make her video against James? I do. I, I want to pull on this because I did, I did see some stuff about a drama channel talking about this, but I was like, I don't know. I'm going to see for myself. So even if I see things, guys, I still pull on it because I'm like, I don't know because, you know, people like spin things and try to make it seem like one thing because you know these drama channels are getting money from their videos so of course they're gonna play on that right? okay guys so I <laughs> I am answering the question did he plan to did Je Jeffrey plan to take James down from the start with Tati so I'm gonna answer that first um I'm gonna say no not from the start because uh, Jeffrey's plan was to get James on his side and he was actually working I'm picking up that James was working under Jeffrey like his merch line he was doing his merch apparel before he did sister apparel or it was under Jeffrey's manufacture or fulfillment center or whatever like Jeffrey was helping James with his his merch line so not originally no he was actually on his side and he wanted he only on his side because it would it was gonna make it, uh, Jeffrey was getting a good cut from um, James merch line so he was trying to manipulate him more so like get on his side you know because he wanted to help him but for of course Jeffrey's benefit so um, Jeffrey I feel like James wanted to start branching out and doing his own thing like I said with Tati and Tati wanted James to work with him more and do collaborations but James didn't want to be in Tati's shadow. Um, James has that very um, go-getter personality about him where he likes to do his own thing eventually so yeah he'll use people to network and stuff like we all do but after some time he does break away and finds his own way and does things and he's always been like that. Um, I'm picking up that James has a very entrepreneurial, uh, very entrepreneurial um, energy about him so he won't stay under someone's thumb for too long, but Tati and James, sorry, Tati and Jeffrey did not like that. So they wanted to keep James down, okay? And I've been saying that from the jump, and I'm going to stick with it. So I'm picking up that Tati came to Jeffrey and was, you know, saying some issues that she was having with James as far as, like, why doesn't he want to do this with me like I've helped him and I just asked him to do this one thing for me and he won't you know and she was getting upset about that and so Jeffrey coming to her aid would talk to her and she would just yeah, Jeffrey wanted to get the dish on everyone so he was very surprised that this was going on behind the scenes because Dati tried to bottle it up for some time and then she couldn't take it anymore because James just was not cooperating with her. Which can you blame James? Like he wants to do his own thing. But I'm seeing Tati wanted to keep him under his thumb because she's a Scorpio moon and they can be manipulative. Not all Scorpio moons. But Tati is one of those very manipulative Scorpio moons and Scorpios will bond with other Scorpios no matter where Scorpio is in the chart prominently in the chart and Jeffrey as we know has a Scorpio Sun he's a Scorpio Sun Scorpio Venus so they bonded more so over James not wanting to do as they say okay guys they're very controlling like that I'm picking that up okay and this is no hate to Tati I don't hate the woman or anything um, I think she's a brilliant entrepreneur herself but she does have that you owe me mentality um, like Jeffrey does. So they bonded, I'm seeing, over that. And that was kind of where it conspired. But I'm picking up that she, uh, Jeffrey didn't really have to manipulate Tati into doing the video. She already wanted to speak out about James and bring light to him. She did confide in, in Jeffrey and he did sell, tell her if that's what you want to do, I support you. I think that's a good idea. He, did it, he didn't try to talk her out of it. But he did kind of like amp it up a little bit. And that's because he was having issues with, 
with James wanting to do his own thing too and not being under Jeffrey's thumb because Jeffrey does like to control people. Okay, guys? So I am seeing money was involved because a collaboration was not being met, which the Knight of Pentacles can talk about that. Like, oh, look what I can offer you. James wanted to take his own route and do his own thing. But he also, on top of that, was getting a big head because he was finding his own way and he was getting a big ego and they did play on that. And I am picking up that Tati did address that to, to, uh, to Jeffrey. I also feel like, you know, Tati did be, she was a little bit manipulative too. Like, kind of like blew things out of proportion more than it needed to be. Like, like I did pick that up from her energy in James' video. So I'm still picking that up, guys. I'm going to say that Jeffrey really didn't have to. Um, you know, manipulate or orchestrate it. Uh, Tati already wanted to do it, but I am picking up that Jeffrey didn't stop her or tell her that it wasn't a good idea. Um, he actually supported it. How does Jeffrey feel about Tati? Hey guys, interrupting here, sorry. So as you guys know, Tati Westbrooks made her video on um, Shane and Jeffrey manipulating her. So this, please keep in mind that this at the time was where the energy stood, how Jeffrey felt about her. Um, of course, I'm sure it has changed since then. Like now he's like pissed about <laughs> her speaking out against him. He's like absolutely livid. Um, but he's not going to say anything yet. I still don't, I still am picking up the energy that Jeffrey wants to speak out against Tati, but his team is like telling him not to. So it's like a push and pull uh, type of energy I keep getting from Jeffrey. So yeah, very interesting. Yeah, the energy, this is where the energy stood at the time. And then she released that video spur of the moment, which I did feel she did. She, he didn't know that the video was coming. <laughs> and, um, <clears throat> So yeah, now of course his feelings for her have changed and he hates her, but yeah, hope you guys like the rest of the video. I <laughs> just wanted to say that. Jeffrey feel about Tati. So I'm picking up that he has nothing, no bad or harsh feelings about her with the Two of Cups. He loves collaborating with her. I'm actually picking up that there could be a collaboration on the table with them both. Like, um... Tati will do a collaboration with Jeffrey or they'll work on a video together. Um, I'm seeing more collaborations come out with them or they're working together. Um, now this could mean that behind the scenes with James they could be doing that or trying to like this could be past energy and talking about them collaborating together, speaking about doing a collaboration together. I still feel like that could come out and that is still on the table, but this could also mean collaborating to bring down James. Okay, guys? So, and earning some money from and making a video to earn that money from it. Um, I feel like Jeffrey feels like she's a very smart businesswoman. I feel like he, I don't know if Tati's a mother. Um, maybe he wants her to be a mother or maybe Tati's pregnant or like she's expecting or he wants her to have kids because he feel like, feels like she'd be a good mom. He also feels like she's very nurturing, a good person, has a good heart. Um, not saying that they've been currently, currently in contact. Their relationship kind of like, they were close but not too, too close I'm picking up. Um, the star card, I feel like he also sees that she has a lot of potential and feels like she got where she is because she's very smart it really respects her and looks up to her in a sense um and he's very sure of his um opinion of her like not many people i'm seeing could sway or make him think less of her so i'm seeing that there is good energy between them both um I feel like Jeffrey, I feel like Tati feels the same way about Jeffrey. He, she does feel like he can be sneaky. She does see that about him. Um, but they kind of are both sneaky, so. Okay. Okay, how does Jeffrey feel about Shane? <laughs> Guys, I don't know why I'm hearing this, but I'm hearing Jeffrey say, have I taught you nothing? <laughs> like, I don't know if Jeffrey says that, but I heard, have I taught you nothing? I'm answering the question, how does Jeffrey feel about Shane? He's very disappointed in him. Um, he feels like he, he's very disappointed, guys. I'm picking up, he's upset. He's very upset. Not at, um, more so like, why didn't you cover your tracks? Why didn't you learn? Why are you ruining my money? <laughs> like, he's ruining his money. And Jeffrey's not okay with that. Because Jeffrey tries to work hard for his money he tries he tries to be smart about who he collaborates with and he's kind of regretting his decision to be to do business with with Shane because now it's backfiring 
so he's he's losing a lot of money jeffrey's losing a lot of money will it continue to be this way absolutely not but he's not he's not okay with it i'm seeing that they're still friends but he's very disappointed in shane's past so i'm picking up that there is a crumbling in their friendship a little bit this kind of like rocked their friendship because i'm picking up that jeff what shane said in his apology how he brought jeffrey into it he's like he's kind of like upset like the way he kind of like painted he's like i don't remember what shane said exactly but jeffrey's upset about it like i keep picking that up like he's mad and he's not happy with him because i am getting the ten of cups in the reverse but he's he's like trying to let it go he's trying not to hold it too much against him because he had to talk about it but he's not happy that it's kind of messing with the money he's he's not happy about that do you see him kind of like getting defensive with shane and or wanting to defend shane i wouldn't be surprised if jeffrey decides to make a video on behalf of shane so like them both trying to cover like him trying to cover their tracks and say that they didn't try to make a conspiracy video about him so i am seeing that as a possibility does jeffrey star really care about showing diversity in his brands or does he do it to look good I feel like Jeffrey, I don't have to pull on this, I can feel it. I feel like Jeffrey does it to look good. I feel like he does it to save face and he knows that he has a lot of racist allegations against him. So, and it's been proof that he is. So he still feels that way and he he wants to cover his tracks. So I feel like that's why he brings diversity and to make money because he knows that a lot of the market is with African Americans and people of color. So he tries to bring that into his his brand but it's not genuine it's not genuine okay guys so the very last question i'm sorry the very last question about jeffrey is does he feel bad for the racist things he has done so i got the five of cups in the upright he's more so sad that it follows him and that he can't get away from it but does he truly feel bad absolutely not because it does make him money he has tried to make money off of being a being racist i remember i saw something about how his brand used to be called like Nazi or something like that. <clears throat> and I'm seeing he would have tried to do that if he could get away with it. But a lot of his racist past, he's like ashamed that it came out. Like he's embarrassed that he was caught. But I'm seeing that he doesn't truly like feel sorry for it because I'm getting the chariot in the reverse, which is telling me no. The five of pentacles in the reverse, which is telling me no and the four of pentacles in the reverse and like i said guys he feels like we need to let it go that was in the past he's no longer that person he says this is what jeffrey thinks do i feel this no i feel like he needs to he needs to stop being racist <laughs> but he only does it to make money he only adds diversity to make money is what i'm picking up on okay he only does it to make himself look good um but i keep picking up on some video that jeffrey's gonna want to come out with on behalf of him and his him and uh shane's uh whole thing with um conspiring conspiring against um james charles okay him and shane so look out for that that could possibly happen if it doesn't it's because his team talked him out of it and said that's not a good idea or it will be him not fully addressing everything but i am picking up on he may want to address it but will he save shane's ass not completely no uh jeffrey is absolutely not one of those friends that you know will come to people's aids like that all the time like he kind of let if you think about it tati kind of sunk because of him too so yeah guys he only th cares about himself i've always said that <laughs> All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this long reading of part one and part two on Jeffrey and Shane. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and let me know, comment down below what you guys think about this reading, what you think about Jeffrey and Shane. Do you think we still need to keep holding their past against them and hold them accountable? I don't like cancel culture. I feel like we could do it in a very healthy way, um, and who are we to say that someone is, you know, needs to be canceled you know what i mean but i do think that their past should they should be held accountable for their past absolutely um and the mistakes they've made i do think they need to grow up and eventually we all need to grow up i mean and be better people so i hope you guys enjoyed this reading like i said make sure you hit the like button make sure you subscribe to my channel or thumbs it down whatever makes you feel good <laughs> if you guys would like to book a personal reading with me please email me at shawnaesterot at yahoo.com and I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. Like I said, namaste, love and light. Please be kind to one another. Bye.